Hi everyone, Ben Niemczyk here, and today I'd like to share with you the process of reading files from a hard drive that has gone raw, R-A-W. That's right, you open up the drive and it says Windows cannot read this drive. In fact, let's do it now. I'm going to open up Windows Explorer and Windows 7, and I see down here Local Disk F. I click on it. You need to format the disk and drive before you can use it. Do you want to format it? No, because this contains many, many files that I want to keep, so I click Cancel. Then I get another error, F is not accessible. If, you, if your hard drive has turned into a raw drive, you've already seen this a uh, number of times and are probably pulling your hair out. Well, here's how we fix it. Unfortunately, it's gonna cost a little bit of money. You have to buy a program called Recover My Files, but trust me, the $70 is worth it. So let's open that up now. Recover My Files version five. It's gonna say, do you want to allow? Of course, yes, let's open it. And what it's going to do is this, uh, Recover My Files is going to look at the hard drive in question and is going to try to recover the files uh, regardless that it has this raw format. Okay, so we have a choice to recover files, recover drive. You probably want to re recover the drive, that's what I did. So you click on the right icon here, you click next. It's going to scan for the physical drives. It'll scan every drive uh, on your system. That'll come up shortly and then we'll see here as we scroll down uh, letter F. There's no label for it. It's basically, it's there, but it's unrecognized. So we click next. Automatic drive recovery. Uh, unless you're searching for specific files, which most of you probably are not, you just want to get your files off the drive, you click start. And what it'll do is this. It's going to start scanning the drive and it's going to compile the entirety of the files on the drive. And uh, shortly after a couple of phases, I think it says phase two of five up here, uh, it'll come up with a file tree. So we'll just wait for that to go. All right, we're nearing the end of phase two. It's checking through most of the files. And in just a second here, it, we're going to see the file tree appear on this drive. Now, keep in mind this drive is unreadable uh, by Windows. Windows, it acknowledges that, that there is a drive connected to the computer, but it cannot or will not read the files because the drive has uh, somehow, for whatever reason, turned into a raw hard drive. I would say the average amount of time is going to be maybe two to three minutes looking through your hard drive. Obviously, the bigger the drive, the longer the time it's going to take to look through the partitions. So it's in phase three, finishing up phase three now. Okay, there we go. There you have it. There is the file tree right there. And you see all these various folders that are pretty much exactly as I have them organized on the hard drive. And if you want to, you can click, you can uh, expand or contract with the plus and minus keys and decide which you want to save or not save. Uh, let's do this. Let's say that we wanted to transfer the entire drive to another drive. What you would do is you would copy the root and the way you do this is just to click this uh, checkbox here. You could check them individually, but uh, the quickest way is to just check the root. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will Skip this up here. Okay, you need to stop the uh, the scanning. You don't need to scan anymore. You have your file tree. Do you want to skip the reminder? Yes. Okay. All searches completed. Good. And you see over here we have everything, and we're going to click on save. It's going to say saving 1.19 terabytes. It's a lot of information to this location. The save location. Click browse. Find the location that you, where you want to save uh, the files to. Let's say we want to go into images or possibly to miscellaneous. You would then click OK and click OK. Now, I have already done this, so I'm not going to click OK here, but the next step would be to find uh, the location, click OK, and then it would take anywhere, obviously depending on how large your drive is. Uh, for the 1.19 terabytes that I have on this drive, it took about... Uh, over, it was over 24 hours. It was between 24 and 36 hours to do it, but well worth it, obviously. And now I have uh, access to the files completely. And so uh, everything worked out for the best. So if you are interested in recovering the files for uh, really a relatively little amount of money, you should get Recover My Files version 5.1, 69.95, I think, to buy it. It's, uh, it's invaluable and really a fantastic thing. Take care.